God will speak to everybody here today. Amen? Say to everybody. God is already speaking. And we're going to go to the book of Hosea, chapter 2. The prophet Hosea, chapter 2. Glory to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. The message today is about you and me. Okay? It's about you and me. And the title of today's message is, called, is, is titled Faithfulness. Amen? Faithfulness. What is the opposite of faithfulness? Huh? The opposite of faithfulness. Huh? Unfaithfulness. Praise the Lord Jesus. When you find it, please stand on your feet. Glory to God. I'm going to read the Bible in the name of the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Say to your brethren, my people, who's, who is speaking to? You and I. And to your sisters, mercy is shown. Bring charges against your mother. Bring charges. For she is not my wife, nor I am her husband. Let her put away her, what? Hollow trees, right? Amen. Her prostitution from her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts. Look how explicit God is speaking. Amen. Hallelujah. Lest I strip her naked and expose her as in the day that she was born. And make her like wilderness and set, set her like a dry land and slay her with thirst. I will not have mercy on her children. For they are the children of what? Or prostitution. For their mother has played the harlot. She who conceived them has behaved shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers who give me bread and my water, my wool and my linen, my oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up your way with thorns and wall her in so that she cannot find her path. She will chase her lovers but not overtake them. Yes, she will seek them but not find them. Then she will say, I will go and return to my first husband. Return to God. For then it was better for me than now. For she did not know that I gave her grain, new wine, and oil, and multiplied her silver and her gold, which they, which they prepared for Baal. Therefore, I will return and take away my grain in its time, and my new wine in his season, and I will... Take back my wool and my linen given to cover her nakedness. Now I will uncover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers. And no one shall deliver her from my hand. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Huh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say God is good. Say God is not playing around. With his people. We need to return. To him. We cannot play the harlot anymore. 
We cannot have a food here and a food out there anymore, any longer. We have to make a choice. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. You may be seated. The book of Hosea is a, is a book of encouragement. God's redemption and God's restitution for his people. But before his people are restitute, before his people are restored, they have to be brought low. Amen. They have to be brought low. God has to break you and then make you. Hallelujah. God has to break you and then make you again. Otherwise, it will not work. Praise the Lord. If you go to Hosea chapter 1. The Lord says to the prophet Hosea, the word of the Lord came to Hosea, the son of Biri. In the days of, look how many kings Hosea prophesied. Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. And in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. When the Lord began to speak by Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take yourself a wife of prostitution, hollow tree, and children of hollow tree. For the land has committed great hollow tree by departing from the Lord. Amen. Look at that. God wanted to show Israel's condition, spiritual condition. God wanted to tell his people how low has they have gone. Amen. How far had they drifted from him? And how shameful was their sin? And the Lord chose a prophet as a prophetic, hallelujah, look at this, as a prophetic sign, amen, as a prophetic declaration against the people, amen, as a prophetic gesture. So what Israel did in the spirit, now God is going to reveal it in the life of his prophet. Amen. And the Lord told him, go and find yourself a wife, a prostitute. Because I want to show these people what they have done to me. Amen. Oh, glory to God. I want to show these people how far they had drifted from me. They have gone astray. Praise the Lord Jesus. But the Lord says to, jo uh, uh, to, to Hosea, and you're going to go and you're going to love her. And you're going to have children with her. And she will be as your wife. You're going to take, take care of her every step of the way. And you're going to give her everything that she will ever need. So he went and he found Gomer. So he went, number three. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of the blind, And she conceived and bore his son. So... You're going to go find a prostitute. Look at look, look what God did. And you're going to love her. And she's going to give you children. But according to my, what my people have done to me, she will do to you. 
Aleluya. According to what my people have done to me, she will do to you. Praise the Lord. So he went, he married her, had children. But before, no, before long, guess what? The dog always go back to his vomit. Gomer, she always liked what's next. She was not happy with one man, nor she ever be, because that, that's what she did. She was a prostitute. Amen. Glory to God. And the Lord said, what these people has been doing to me for, for, for centuries, she'll do to you in a lifetime. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Are you listening? Before, be, not before long, she went back to the street again. And in chapter 2, what we have read, she went after her lovers, amen, and she began to do what she always did. Hallelujah. You could bring, you could go to the woods and get a rattlesnake and put it in a cage and, and feed that snake. And one day you're going to stick your hand and she's going to, and the snake is going to what? Bite. Because that's what they do. You cannot condemn the snake, punish the snake, blame the snake for what she did because that's what they do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And look what the Lord says. Amen. In chapter 2. Praise the Lord. Look what the Lord says. For she is not my wife, nor I am her husband. Let her put her away, her halotries, and her adulteries from between her breasts. Lest I strip her naked and expose, as in the day she was born, and make her like a wilderness. Amen. Like a dry land, I will slay uh, and slay her with thirst. And I will not have mercy on her, for they are not my ch the children of a hollow tree. For their mother has played the harlot. So she conceived them as behave shameful. Shamefully. For she said, look what she said. After she was taken care of. After he gave her everything. Love. Money. She said, for she said, I will go after what? My lovers. Who give me my bread and my water. My wool and my linen. My oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up. Your way with thorns. In other words, God says, go do what you want. Go do what you want. See, God will never hold you back from your desires. The Lord said, go do what you want. Go after them. But I will, I will put a hedge around you. That means you only can go so far. And thank God for that. That is God's mercy. If you look, if you look at Gomer, Gomer represents a nation. Amen. A nation represents Gomer. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you look at our nation, America. Huh, if you look at our nation. God gave this nation everything. True or not true? Made it the greatest nation on planet earth. 
since people walked the earth. No one has been greater than America financially, economically, militarily, and spiritually. But America did exactly like Israel did in the days of Hosea. They went after the lovers. Who are, who's America's lover? Gay, gay marriage, Baalism, amen, new age abortion, amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Look at all the bales that America has, la has laid down with, that America has gone to bed with. In the presence of the Almighty. And the same thing that, that God did to, to, to Israel, to Judah, and to Jerusalem, God will do to this nation. Because before God make America great again, has to break it. I'll say it again. Before God make America great again, be, and let me tell you, God is, is going to do another man. He has to break this nation. So the Lord will hand, them, hand America over to the, her lovers. Amen. So the Lord tells America, go have fun. I just watched a clip, a, a clip on social media about two days ago. I showed it to my kids about a Presbyterian pastor here in America. She was saying, if, the, if Jesus was here, if Jesus was here, he will say, blessed are the women who abort their children because they are compassionate. On a Sunday morning, on a pulpit, in a church, in our nation. Praise the Lord Jesus. Blessed are the women. Amen. And she said, if Jesus was here, he will escort every woman personally to an abortion clinic to have an abortion. That's what she said from the pulpit in America. Hallelujah. Wow. That's what Israel did, right? Amen. But Israel sins are not greater than our nation. Our nation's sins are greater than Israel. Amen. Glory. Are you here? And you see that the place is full of people saying amen. This is the worst that I've seen ever, in, in, well, I, I guess, in anybody's time frames. Amen. Why? Because America is lusting after the lovers. Amen. Glory to God. How many of you know who's the prophet Ezekiel? Do you know who's Ezekiel in the Bible? A prophet. Amen. Ezekiel prophesied concerning, the, concerning Jerusalem and concerning uh, Judah. If you know what Ezekiel said, you flip. Because God in Ezekiel is more explicit than in Hosea. Glory to God. God in Ezekiel, God is not holding back. And you might find that as something vulgar. And you might say, did God really say that? Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Because when God gets hmm, to the point of He'll come down with a, with a hammer. Let's go to Ezekiel 23, verse 20. Ezekiel 23. You, you're going yeah, to see something here. If you have children in the house of God, cover their ears, please. What are, what are you reading? A book from the library? No, I'm reading the word of God. Amen. Look what it says. We're going to take it from verse, verse 19. Look. 
he's talking about the same thing. He's saying, yet she multiplied her what? Hollow tree in calling the remembrance of the, day, the days of her youth. For all these people who are in church today and they, they remember how many women they had and how much drug they, they took and how many parties they went and they still marveling and, and remembering that episode of their life where like, they, like, like they miss it. This is for you. Amen. Look, when she had played the harlot in the land of Egypt, praise the Lord. Are you listening? For she lost it for her what? Paramours. Whose, paramours, uh, whose flesh is like the flesh of donkeys. Hallelujah. Whose Issue is like the issue of horses. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you listening? You know what God is saying? In 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 in, in I'm gonna put it in, in good words. Amen. I, I I'll try it. Okay. That Israel and Judah went after the gods. Like a woman going after the private parts of a donkey. And after the private parts of the horses. Huh? Is that explicit to you? Huh? Is that explicit? Praise the Lord Jesus. What do you think Hollywood has portrayed all these all these years? Huh? Women with what? Heavenly bodies and men with what? Huh? And they always sell what? The, the, the private parts of the men. Amen? Praise the Lord. I, I, I don't have to go any further. You use, use your, your, your talent and your imagination. That's what God said to, to them. He said, you going after God with small g. Like a woman will go after a man whose private part is like a donkey. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, say hallelujah. In other words, you, you, don't, you, you don't get satisfied. The Lord says, I gave you life. And I, I didn't satisfy you. Praise the Lord Jesus. That's why the book of Hosea says, you are not my wife. Nor I am your husband. Because you went after the gods of this world. And why the Bible says after the gods of this world? Because look, 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 how much money is in abortion? How much money is in, in all this nonsense? Because it's all about the money. Say, it's all about the money. Huh? Are you here? Everybody got quiet, serious for a minute. Hey, that's in the Bible. Amen. It's in the Bible. That's how God feels. Yeah, but our nation, yeah, it's... Hit it, out of, hit it out of the park in these things. Amen. But don't, 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 don't go so hard on our nation because we are the same way. Now we're going to go, we're going to focus on you and me. Because Gomer represents you and me. The Bible says, that even if we are unfaithful, God remains faithful. True or not true? Hallelujah. So, every time that you go after this world and the things of this world, you're doing exactly what Gomer did. 
to Hosea and what Israel did to God. Same thing. Amen. But pastor, how, how I don't go out there. You know, sometimes the world, you don't have to go to the world because sometimes, hey, look, sometimes you don't have to go to the world. The world will come to you. The world will come to the church. Amen. The world will, will arrive to the church. Praise the Lord Jesus. I was. I'm going to say this testimony because it has to do with this. Amen. I was at the park waterfront. Wednesday. Wednesday evening. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Wednesday evening. I was at the park. I was, uh, I met with somebody. Praise the Lord. And we were having a conversation. Amen. And if you go to, to water, Waterfront Park here in Claremont, they have a nice gazebo by, by a little water thing for the kids. They, they fix the, 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 the little, the little uh, beach area real nice. Uh, we could go and have baptism over there. Amen. Ho hopefully this month. Amen. We will go. Praise the Lord Jesus toward the end. Jackie is going to baptize the, the people, and I will be watching for gators while she is in the water. <laughs> Just in case we, 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 we submerge you with a head and you come out with no head. <laughs> hey, I have to line up the message, okay? Jackie will baptize you, and she will go deep in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So I was, and, and I hear this group, look, this group, amen. And I'm not going to mention names, but they blew the shofar. You know how I like the shofar, you know. And this group were singing songs to the Lord, amen. They sang beautiful songs, and I said, hey, I, li I, I like that, you know. I like that. But I, 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 I continued doing what I was doing. And then when, when, when me and, the, and my companion, we, we were going to say goodbye, and, and he will go to his house, and I will go home. I, I went by the bathrooms, and I passed by the group, and it was a lot of people singing, singing. And I, you know, I, I, you know, I like all that, right? Then the Lord said to me, "Hey, hey hang, hang around for a little bit. I want to show you something." Then when I, I, I hang around for a little bit, and then out of the blue, the lady that I, that was conducting the thing. She called everybody, said, everybody come and dance. I don't mind dancing as long as it's to the Lord. And then from Christian music, it went to Ricky Martin songs. Oh, yeah. And everybody was having a blast, and everybody was singing Ricky Martin. You know Ricky Martin is a devil, right? He got more power than than. than he turned Puerto Rico into the mess that we have today. And they were singing Ricky Martin songs, you know. And everybody started shaking and dancing to the song of a devil. And where people were, were jogging, right, they were running. And people were saying, wow, this is so cool. Well, I like it. Is that a church? Oh, man. The, you know, and everybody was like, wow, this is nice. The people walking. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you'll be like, wow, you know, these people are attracting people. And then I asked a person, hey, I said, which, which congregation is this? And he told me the name of the congregation. I'm going to leave it unmentioned. But it's becoming very popular here in Claremont. This congregation, they're uh, into New Age. You know what New Age means? Every road leads to heaven. Jesus is not the only way to God. That's Oprah Winfrey uh, theology. 
and all, all, all those guys. And then the person who was with me, he looked at me like, Pastor, you hear that? I say, hey, God is going to teach you something. That not everything that shines is gold. Amen. But if, if there was somebody else with a Bible preaching the word, preaching the word, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, wash away your sins, they will flip the finger and they will say, get out of here. Get, no, and uh, people will be angry at the preaching of the gospel. But since they were dancing kumbaya with Ricky Martin, everybody was like, "Woo, this is my thing. I like that church. Praise the Lord Jesus. And the person told me, Pastor, truly I learned something today. That not everything that shines is gold. God have mercy on that. I mean, now you know what I'm talking about. They are playing the hollow tree. The book of Isaiah. I believe it's chapter 8, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. That, I, I mean, in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel says, the problem with Israel, not only this problem right here that I just read, the problem with Israel, the problem with the priest, the problem with the pastor, and the problem, amen, with everybody in charge of a spiritual what? Guidance. The problem with Israel is that they take the unholy and the holy and they mix it and they put it on the same pot. They don't make distinctions into the holy and the unholy. That's what's happening right now. People don't make distinction in the holy things of God and the things of the world. And they mix them together to attract a great crowd. Amen. And according to what I heard from a credible source or sources, that congregation messed up a lady that went to study in their institute. And right now, that lady don't believe that Jesus is the only way. A person who was a Christian for a long time. So that's why you need to get in this word. Because see, in the beginning, everything sounds beautiful. And it sounds like, like, hey, we connect. Stay a little bit. Hang up a little while. And if you're not strong enough to recognize, you'll be swept away. And the next thing you're going to say, Jesus is not coming. Jesus is not God. He was just a man. Amen? The Lord, God, he tried with Israel for generations. He did whatever necessary to bring them back. Amen? But sometimes, in this case, even God gets sick. Of people. Even God gets to say like, you know what? Do, do what you want. I'm not dealing with you anymore. Praise the Lord Jesus. Do you know when all the sins of Israel was totally fulfilled? That God says, enough with you. Do you want to know when? The Lord says, you're a harlot. You always been a harlot, and you will be ever a harlot. Amen. Do you know where the Lord says, "I'm I'm done with you"? I'm glad you asked. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. If you go to Matthew twenty-three, verse thirty-seven and thirty-eight. Matthew 23, I'm going to tell you when the Lord says, I am done with you. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Are you here? When did God said, I am done with you? I'm done with you. It's right here. Look. Look what the Lord said. Oh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. What happens when you see something twice in the Bible? Hey, pay attention. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. The one who kills the prophets and stone those who are sent to her. See, he said her. Huh? What, what Hosea, Hosea is talking about her. What Ezekiel is talking about her. It is the same her that Jesus is talking about. But now in a different way. Oh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. The one who kills the prophet and stone those who are sent to her. How often. Oh, glory to God. I wanted to gather you. Your children together. As the hen gathers her chicks under her wings. But you were not. Willing. Continue. See, your house is left desolate. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your house. Is left to you desolate. For I say to you, you shall see me no more until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord says, I am done with you. And I'm going to find myself people that are not people. That's you and me. See? Amen. In other, trans, in other passages in the Bible, says, because you miss the time of your visitation. That's what I said to you today. When the angels of the Lord come to the church, with a time frame, do not miss the time of your visitation. Don't miss it. Do not miss the time of your visitation. Amen. We cannot be on Sunday morning holy to the Lord and living like a devil Monday through Saturday. Like, like a lot of Christians, well, so-called, are doing today. Amen. We cannot gather today. And say glory to God in, he in the heavens. And then people go sleep around during the week. Adultering, fornicating. Praise the Lord Jesus. Going after the lovers. And then come back on a Sunday and do it all over again. God says no. Don't you know that. God, here in the gospel of Matthew, God says, I will, I will depart from you. Amen. Do you know that the Lord still today rejects people from his presence? Amen. When people don't repent, when people follow their, all, their, their path, and when people don't listen and don't listen and don't listen, what the, the, what the Apostle Paul says? The Apostle Paul says, you know what? I will hand you over to Satan. Amen? I will hand you over to the enemy. Praise the Lord Jesus. Do I want to get there? No. What is the Lord saying to you today? Be faithful. Be faithful. If that means that you're always faithful, no. But we have something to our favor is repentance. 
Amen. A gospel without repentance is not a gospel. A gospel without repentance is a social club. Where people gather to see each other. Amen. And if I tell you what goes on in some churches in, the, in here in America, you will flip. At least you should. Amen. What they do. What they do. The aberra aberrations and the, 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 the uh, America has become a Sodom and Gomorrah at a great scale. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. At a great scale. America is bloodthirsty. They want blood. Amen. They want blood. They don't they, they want blood. They just want blood. They get angry when 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 God says stop your sacrifices. Stop your human human sacrifices. They go crazy. They go mad. No, we want to kill more. True or not true? Praise the Lord. You know, I heard last Sunday from a pastor in the Dominican Republic, praise God for the Dominican Republic. Unanimous, they said no to gay marriage and they say no to abortion. They said we don't want it in, in Santo Domingo. We don't want that. We don't want to follow Puerto Rico. We don't want to follow America. We don't want to. No, no. The government says we don't want that. El Salvador, praise the Lord for El Salvador, says we don't want that. El Salvador went from the from the one from from the most dangerous place in the world to the most holy place to see God. Thank God for that man. Praise the Lord Jesus. You know who's following the steps of the uh, Dominican Republic and El Salvador? Argentina. Is following the steps of them. Says we don't want that. We know what it did. We, we know what it did to America. We know what it did to America. We don't want it. Glory to God. So there are people in this world, there are governments in this world that says no. We're not going that path. We're not going that way. We're not going that way. Praise the Lord Jesus. And God, what God is doing in those, in those countries is amazing. El Salvador is going to go, is going to go very soon in zero, zero, zero crime. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. People are moving out there. Amen. People are moving out there. Seeking, seeking a, a good place to live. The president of El Salvador, Najib Bukele, said, Jesus is the king of El Salvador. And he, he got a, a bulldozer and he brought down every image of every bale of every devil in his country. He brought it down. He brought it down. He brought it down, bulldozer to the ground. He said, Jesus is the king of El Salvador. They ask him, hey, where is your so he came to he came to the Republican um, convention to speak. You should have heard him. He said, America, you still have time. But you have to bring Jesus back. That's the key. That's that that's the ingredient that you're missing. What do I need a person promise promise me? Something. When the name of Jesus is not even mentioned. Because the rating goes down. Their their, their polls go down. Praise the Lord Jesus, eh? Not in this house. We, we worship the king. Amen? So America needs to come to God very quickly. God is, God is dismantling this nation. God, the Lord is dismantling this nation to build it again. You say, but what about me, Lord? Don't worry about it. If your heart is right before the Lord, hey, you prosper. You prosper. You'll be protected. The, 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 what happened in Florida and South Carolina and North Carolina? What happened? They, they were swept away. And this is nothing. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen.
God has been saying it for what? A long, long, long time. America, repent. America, remember the, the, the church of Ephesus. Go back to your first works. Go back to your first works. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. So don't bend out of shape for Republican or Democrat. Don't bend out of shape. Just seek him. Follow Jesus. Pray for our nation. Pray for a leader that will bring Jesus back. And, and, and I, I'm talking about upholding the name of Jesus high. Do you know that they could mention God in their speeches? Do you know that they could conclude a, 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 uh, um, a, a rally with God bless America? You know why they do that? Because God is a, a general word. God could be anything or anybody. But they are forbidden to say in, in the name of Jesus. Because at the, the, the day they do that, no wonder the Lord said in Matthew 24, in the last days, they will be offended because of me. Amen. My people, we're living in the last days. Actually, the last days were the days of Paul. We're living in the last hours of the church. Whatever you're going to do for God, do it now. If you're going to consecrate yourself, you better do it now. Amen. Because heaven will be open soon and the Lord will arrive here again. And we need to be ready to meet the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. May you stand before the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. If you read the book of uh, Hosea, God restored his people. God is long-suffering and long love, love, love and kindness. But then the Lord has to say, enough is enough. Because they will be restored and they will backwards time and time again. They will go up, they will go down. And one day the Lord says, enough. I will hand you over to your enemies. I will hand you over to your enemies. Don't let, the, don't let God hand you over to your enemies. Don't let God hand you over to your enemies. Praise the Lord Jesus. God will restore you, but it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Amen? Praise the Lord. Why are you looking at the world like if you miss it? What did you have out there? Pain and suffering. God gave you oil, new wine. Amen? God gave you everything. And how come people are missing that crash? Talking about the world system. People miss it. In the past, we have people in church and, and in conversation, they talk about their past life like they, like they miss it. Like they're missing, like, like uh, I'm here now because I'm, I'm, I'm old. But man, if I was younger, amen, praise the Lord Jesus, amen. Glory to God. God is in the house today, and brothers and sisters. The Holy Spirit is passing through, seeking those who wants to be blessed. I have preached the word of God the best way I know how. Not by my own accord, but by the help of the Holy Spirit. We don't do nothing here by, an, by our own accord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Everything is through him, by him, and for him. God bless you. My name is Pastor Luis Santiago coming to you again. I hope you have enjoyed our service. I hope that the Holy Spirit has spoken to your life. I hope that you were encouraged and built up by the power of the Holy Spirit. When I come to you right now, 
Amen. To encourage you. Amen. If this ministry has been a blessing to your life, if this ministry has helped you in any way, will you consider to bring an offering to this ministry? Will you consider to sow into this ministry? I'm going to read to you something from the scriptures. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 9, praise the Lord, verse 6. But this I say to you, he who, so, who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one gives as he purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or out of necessity, for God love a cheerful giver. Praise the Lord. Maybe you're looking for a ministry to plant a seed, to sow a seed, but you are skeptical because you don't know whether it's good ground, whether it's not a good ground. I'm telling you that the Lord has moved you to watch this video today so you could help me take the gospel to the nations. I cannot do it without the help of the Holy Spirit. I cannot do it without the help of the blood and the name of Jesus. And I cannot do it also without somebody who helped this ministry to bring the gospel to the nations. So, in the name of Jesus, as you were blessed by this ministry, please bless this ministry. Please bless the people who are preaching the gospel day and night day and night without getting without 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 any 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 reserve and god will bless you tremendously thank you now here is some ways that you could help this ministry in jesus name and once again thank you very much god bless you